We are at the North Wilkesboro Speedway for the 23rd race of the SCRL NASCAR Legends Series Season 3. The 17 of Sebastian Torres, we lead us to the green flag, so beside him is the 76 of Cam Nixley. There's the qualifying grid. Oya Centaur has the most wins at this track. He has four. Of course, he, he won from the pole earlier in the season. Dominated at all 40 laps. Sebastian Torres will be looking to uh, do the same thing Aureus did. Aureus, we saw him way back in 28th. Of course, Norfolk Spare, this legendary track that NASCAR no longer goes to, which is a shame, a crime. They should at least bring the trucks here, you know? You might not have a packed house, but, you know, as long as the racing is good, so what? Need some interesting stuff instead of the same boring tracks. But that's a topic for another time. Here's the command. Drivers, stop your engines! You need variety in your tracks. And NASCAR refuses to come here, which is very disappointing. NASCAR always gets rid... Well, okay, technically it's not NASCAR. Sometimes it's the track owners and whatnot, but... NASCAR should come back here. But they never will, probably. This track is just going to keep dying away. At least we have games like this that I'll always remember it. Cars going up on the track. Most of the cars, once again, are using their non-wing cars. Some are us using them, like the 99, the 7, and the 30. Pace cars in. We are racing in North Wilkesboro. Oh. 76 Cam Nixley with a run on the high side. And Sebastian Torres has problems. Wow. I believe that's the third race in a row. Uh, third race in a row where the leader has had problems. The pole setter. So Cam Nixley has taken the lead. HPK is now on second. Jay Barker's third. Fourth is Roland Chavez, and fifth is Gloria Tucker. Sebastian Torres is still in pit road. He's going to lose a lap, maybe two. Let's see. Turner had a problem at Talladega. I know Nick Productions, I think, had a problem at Bristol. And Dryberg had a problem at Richmond. And the 17 is still on pit road. HBK is still on second. Now, it's the right tire that seems to be the problem. Because they're still... He's still on the jack. Chavez goes wide in for... Oh! Whoa! Look out. Kelly Lee. Whoa! Look out! Look out! Oh, that was that was so close. We almost had a wreck. And finally, Sebastian Torres. His car is back on the track, but he's probably two or three left. Oh, he got a wreck. Oh. The 48. I mean, the 40. The 24. Sebastian Torres was able to make it through. 68. Oh, 34. White line has a lot of damage to her to her hood. Oh, we got another 57, 58. Yeah, they stack up under caution. Well, we're gonna have a caution this race. The 76 Cam Nixley is your race leader. Let's take a look and see who brought out the first caution of the day. The 24, Mike Pearson. Let's see, he running in 18th. Nick Production. Oh, Nick Productions hits the 24, and Pearson goes around. Spectator cam. Chuddle. Oh, Chuddle got damaged to the right side of his car. The 40, Tommy Hudson, nowhere to go, gets damaged. 
the 48, DJ Curtis, who just won the last race. The 28. Sixty-four made it through. Seventy got a little piece. Thirty-nine got a piece. Sixty-eight. Yeah. Then forty decides just the rear end. Uh, the sixty-eight. Okay. And thirty-four's got hood damage. So yeah. Yep, so a one car incident involves about five. Here we go, Sebastian Torres. Multiple laps down. Take it back to the restart. And we are back. The 34 and the 28 are both out of the race. I know the 34 had damage, but I didn't see the 28 get damaged, so yeah. We got multiple cars a lap down. We got 33 still on the lead lap. Sebastian Torres is three laps down in 40th. So lap down drivers will start on the inside. Kim Nixley is your race leader still. He also has one win this season in his whole career. He won at Michigan. And a photo finish. There's the green. Cam Nixley looking to be a dominator. Just like DJ Curtis was and just like Orius was earlier in the season. Oh, Nixley. Oh, look at Oh, no. Our leader has... Nope, still green. Oh, shit. The 7, the 76, the 25, the 99, the 72, the 21. Uh. Wow. Uh. That was bad. Uh. Need an HBK in the 4 is your race leader, but she's got a lot of damage to the right side of that car. We'll take a look at the big ass wreck. I think I may have just jinxed Cam Nixley. Nixley leading. Goes wide in turn 2. Hits the wall, comes back across the track, right in front of Josh Barker. And Barker spins out Nixley. Richard Torres tries to help. They actually help Cam Nixley get back going. But 76 comes back across the track in front of the 7. Bam. The knee HPK gets her damage right there. 25 got damaged, 99, 72, 21, a lot of these drivers are just trying to avoid, 32, Nick Production got damaged, 30, got a little tiny piece, and look at that, we're six wide, that works well, never thought you'd see that, yeah, these cars are just trying to avoid, turns a miss, Ooh, Cam Nixley is not going to be happy with the number five. Restart time. And we are back. <coughs> the 99 and the 31 are both out of the race. And these cars are trying to get back on pit the pits. Need an HPK is your race leader. Roland Chavez is second. Brian Fox is third. Colin Jaberg fourth. Uh, Daniel Bouchard in fifth. There's the green. There goes the four. <coughs> Roland Chavez trying to make a pass lap traffic. Not enough power in that 25 car. It's not yet. Nope. Need HPK in the four. Is winless this season, despite winning an LCQ at Bowman Gray. It doesn't add. It doesn't add toward her win total. Some leagues would probably do that, but I don't think it should count as actual win. I don't know. It's it could go either way. Laps the seven. Oh! No! Look out. Oh! Caution is out. Why? I have no clue why. There's no car spun out. 
Well, we'll find out. And we will reach halfway under caution. Next time by. Need HVK is still your race leader. Let's take a look at the third or fourth caution. Gloria Tucker running in the 18th position. Let's see what's happening. Uh, she goes up the track. Hits the wall hard. Cam Nixley. Bumps her. 76 hits the wall again. And then the 70 of JT Hanley. Clips her. And then Tucker spins. And there's the yellow flag. And Turner barely missed her. And, uh, yeah, we got a one-car spin for once. Nothing, mo nothing much to add, really. Restart time. And we are back. Yeah. The yeah, HPK is still your race leader, of course. He's still got cars on pit road. 24, 8, 7, 45... Lap down cars will still start on the inside. And there's Bastian Torres trying to recover from his start. There's a green. The HPK clears lap traffic. So does the 25. Oh, uh, wait, maybe not. No, look out. Whoa, okay. The HPK has got a lot of lap traffic between her and second place, which will be Brian Fox. If it wasn't for the 25. Of course. 25 goes way wide. Not good, not good, not good. Oh, 40's in the wall. And the HPK is still. Whoa. You got car smoking, that's a 19. Not sure why the 19 is smoking. We'll have to find out because the 68 car is also on pit road. 98's in the wall. We are actually getting some green flag runs, which is pretty amazing. You see all these cars bunched up. You know there's something going to happen. Colin Dreiberg is actually having a good run today. He's in seventh right now. And right when I say that, he hits the wall. Oh. I just saw a car spin. Oh, the yellow is out. And 39 gets a lap back. I'm not real sure what happened. But we're going to find out. The four car is still your race leader. So here's what happened to Ebola Wonderly in the uh, 68. Slides into Orius. And Orius goes to the left, pushes Ebola into the 0 6. Zero 6 got damage. Both cars spin out on the back stretch. And any second now, we will see a car. There we go, 19. Richard Torres, wham! And the caution still did not come out. That's messed up. Now let's take a look and see what actually brought out the caution. The 58 of Chip Roberts. Let's see. Gets clipped by the 40 of Tommy Hudson. Well, actually, it's the 72 hitting the 40. And there goes Chip Roberts. Spinning out. Hits the outside wall. Keeps on going, but... As you can see, the lights have come on. And that brought out the caution. Yeah. So, a car goes sideways and there's a caution. But when there's a car flipping over and upside down, there is no caution. Take it back to the restart.
And we are back. We are going to get the green with seven laps to go. And because it's less than ten laps to go, lap down drivers will not start on the inside. The 19 of Richard Torres is out of the race. Yeah. Need HPK is your race leader. Second is Bulldog 67. Third is Big Jigger. Fourth is Aiden Shepard. And fifth is Nick Productions. And we're back to racing in North Wilkesboro. And second place is right there. So they're a little ways behind. Whoa! What else? 67 trying to catch near HBK, her, his longtime rival. They have been rivals since season one of this series. And the caution just came out. Whoa, the 5, the 22. Uh, I'm not sure if that ended the race or not. Let's take a look at the caution. So the cause of the caution was last race winner DJ Curtis running side-by-side side with the 57 and Rosa De Silva. The cars connect bumpers. And there goes Curtis. Into the outside wall. Right into the path of the 45. Nowhere to go. Riley Spurly Tube. 48 gets pushed again. Right into the path of the 22. No cars. This is going to hurt. Whoops. Bam. Yeah, Cars hits the side of DJ Curtis, and then they both slide. Cars goes driver's side first into the water barrels. Then the 5 gets damaged, 51, 48, 39, 47. I'm telling you, when these cars wreck, they wreck big time. Yeah, there we go. Cars just trying to avoid. And Curtis comes back down the track. Cars had nowhere to go. Bam. And goes up in the air. And turn four, well technically turn three, is a mess. Well, let's see if that ended the race or not. We are going to get the green with one lap to go. The 70 just retired, had a piston problem. The 39, the 22, and the 5 are out. We have 23 cars still left on the track. Bulldog 67 has a car between him and Need HPK. So this is Need HPK's race to lose. One lap to settle who's going to win this race. They get the white and the green. There it is. One lap to go. Bulldog 67 trying to get around the lap traffic of Chris Kyle. Here's the four. Oh, the four hits the wall. Oh, here comes the 21. It's going to be a drag race. Getting the help from Ding Drinker. And it's going to be... Bulldog 67 with the win. We had a last lap pass. Wow. Here are your race results. Bulldog 67 scores a last lap pass on the HBK. Let's take another look at that. If it, the HBK hit the wall off of turn four. I mean, off of turn two. And Bulldog uses the draft thanks to Ding Drinker. And gets the run off of turn number four. And wins by that much. Amazing. 
So here are your race results. Bulldog 67 scores a close win over the HPK. Third, Ding Drinker. Fourth, Aiden Shepard. Fifth, Nick Productions. Sixth, Treadle. Seventh, Colin Dryberg. Eighth, Cam Nixley. Ninth, the 72 car. And tenth, Evan Rudd. We had 22 cars finish the race on the lead lap. Yeah. That was a wrecked fest of a race. And now we go to Victory Lane, the Bulldog 67. There isn't one. Here are your point standards after the 23rd race of the season at North Wilkesboro. Jonathan Reigns is still your points leader. He has a 69-point lead over Matt Johnson. Third is Noah Carr's 101 points back. Fourth, Brian Fox, 125 points back. And fifth, Ewell Wonderly, 127 points back. Four races to go. I'm pretty sure the top 10, maybe top 15, are still eligible for the championship at this point. So that's it for North Wilkesboro. We will see you at the 24th race of the season at Charlotte.